So in this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate the rolling sum and rolling mean as well as how to shift it after the calculation. So the use case here we have is that we have a jewelry shop, um, the selling the quantity sold of a jewelry shop for bracelet and earring from the 1st of January to 5th of January of 2021. Now the task we want to achieve is to calculate the quantity sold for current and previous two days. Now to, uh, so we want to do this by the item and to achieve this uh, we have the following code. So before that uh, we need to sort it by the date as well as the item name so that uh, before we do, the, we do the rolling sum we know that this is sorted according to the order we want it to be rolled. And subsequent to the sorting, so this is the paper creation, table creation and sorting, we call this uh, line of code to generate this table. And you can see that this 2 is the result of 1 plus 2 plus 3. The current cell plus previous uh, current minus 1 day cell plus current minus 2 day cell, 6. Uh, so, so this is 6 actually, so let's rerun it again, 6. And this is 9 and this is 12. And similarly for this tree as well. And for this, because uh, for the windows of tree, we have an NAN here. So when the NAN plus 1 plus 2, we do not have a enough value. So it, it just use it as an NAN. So for items that didn't have windows of tree, the value are NAN. And this is for the rolling sum. So just now, uh, the, the result you saw is rolling mean. Uh, similar the similar the case, uh, we just use a mean instead. So let's change it back to sum. And let's say you do not want to uh, include the current date. You do not want to include the current date. You want to just use previous three days cell to populate the cell here. Uh, maybe a new column here. So what you can do is that you can shift the six down to, to this value so that you get the value above it. This is exactly the value you want because this is the value of t minus the current day minus 1, current day minus 2, and current current day minus 3. This is exactly the, the value you want. So to achieve this, you just group by the item name again so that uh, it, if you simply shift 1, it will just shift 1 down and 12 will shift to the earring. So if you group by the item name, uh, you, you it is handled by each item so you won't have this kind of a shift over effect. So if you group by item name and shift one again, you get what you want. Six, nine, twelve gone because uh, it, it, after uh, moving down, it is there is no value there uh, under the bracelet. Similarly, uh, six hundred and nine hundred. So that's it for the uh, the explanation. So let me know if you have any question. Uh, put it in the comment. Thank you.